Hello guys, today I want to show you one change in Laravel 10.1. Yes, it is already 10.1 because every week they release a new version, new minor version. So even after Laravel 10, which is pretty new, there's Laravel 10.1 already this week, and then there will be 10.2 probably next week and so on. So we're back to minor releases. And one of the new features in 10.1, not exactly a feature, but a change, which was actually kind of forced or influenced by my tweet. That's the price I pay for being an influencer, maybe sometimes in a bad way, I will get to that in a minute. If you want to find out the news about the new minor versions every week, that's the source how I am getting them from Laravel Shift newsletter. And the change that I'm talking about, it's about what controllers should return by default. Before diving into the pull request, I will show you what I mean. So here I am in a demo project of Laravel 10.0. And if I do PHP artisan make controller whatever controller and then add dash dash resource because I want to generate a resourceful controller. What does it generate? So we open that whatever controller and the return type is response. They added a lot of types all over Laravel Skeleton and Laravel Breeze and Jetstream. So that's a great work by Nuno Maduro. And this is what we have here. And then when working on one of my demo projects, I just blindly did something like users, user all or whatever. And then I wanted to return a view. So return view, for example, users index and compact users, something like that. I've been doing something like this for a very long time for many years for my demo projects. The result of that is in my tweet. I've tweeted it on Saturday with this code, similar to the one that I'm showing you, I got this error. And I went to tweet about it, which partly maybe was a mistake. I have kind of a reputation on Twitter and in general in Laravel community of sometimes putting out almost like a scandal thing. I remember in Laravel 8, we had quite a big fight with Taylor himself about Laravel auth changes and gesture and all of that. So this was my another example of a tweet which was misphrased. My intention was to ask the audience whether I understood the bug correctly. So I asked, was it supposed to be this extra manual work? Because then I need to change that response to the view and I can do that, no problem, and that would work. Or I can change the stubs so I can do PHP artisan stub publish like this. And then I have the stubs folder and then in controller of the, for example, this one from what I remember, controller stub, I can change that here to the view for all the other controllers. It's still inconvenient to me because I keep creating many projects. So should I do it in every project manually? That's in my opinion, not how framework is supposed to work. So that's why I raised this issue. And a lot of people replied to me that it's not an issue that you could change the stubs exactly. But should I do that for every demo project every time? It kind of feels like framework is getting in the way of me rapidly writing the code, which Laravel is famous for rapid development. And then things blew up on weekend. Taylor created this pull request. And I don't remember over my years of working with Laravel such polarizing pull request. So the first idea by Taylor was to change the response to mixed return type, which means you basically can return anything. And historically, controllers did return almost anything. That's when I realized in my tweet, a lot of people replied with their own version what it should return. It could return API, which means JSON. It could return a collection or a model which is transformed to JSON automatically by Laravel. It could return view. It could return inertia render. It could even return a string. It could return a redirect. So a lot of things. So there's no standard. There hasn't been any standard over the years. And now when they introduced response, view is not the same as response. It's a different class. And another way to solve the problem would be to introduce some kind of interface. There's already responsible, but there could be more changes involved and it kind of opens up the rabbit hole for a lot of things to change in the framework just to get to some kind of interface. Technically, it could be probably the most correct, technically correct solution, the interface. But what Taylor suggested is mixed. Basically, return whatever you want except void. And that's, by the way, the difference between mixed and return nothing is mixed is everything except void. And also, if you wanted to replace some string replaced mixed to whatever type you want, it would be easier to replace than to replace nothing. 
So that was the idea. And that idea came with 72 likes and 61 dislikes on GitHub. And then there were a lot of GitHub comments, conversations. Taylor has been trying to explain his reasoning for the mixed, but also there's a counter argument, pretty natural. Doesn't this kill the whole purpose of return types? So if we return mixed, then what's the point kind of? So it gets a bit philosophical. What controller should return? There was never one standard. And also Laravel is famous for that. You can do a lot of things in many ways and they all would work. Partly by Laravel magically resolving some of the things for you. So controllers is probably the best and the most polarizing example, depending also on which projects you work with. If you work only with APIs, then naturally for you, it should return a JSON response probably, right? If you work only with web, like myself mostly, your natural response should be view. If you work with inertia, if you work with something else, so the rabbit hole is pretty deep. So how it ended up after many, many comments, I will link that pull request in the description below. Actually, let's go up and have the commits. There were two commits by Taylor. First, use mixed return type, and then he changed his mind. And in the commit, he kind of told, okay, we don't have one conclusion what it should return. So let's go back and controller should not return anything. So he changed from mixed to the old way, like it was in Laravel 9. So now if I do in my PHP storm terminal composer update for Laravel 10.1, and let's see what controller generates. I actually should remove the stubs folder like it wasn't published. And now let's clear and now let's generate whatever else controller, whatever, like what controller resource. And now if we open that what controller, it doesn't return anything in the methods, which means you are free to return whatever you want. And I'm not sure what to conclude from that. The whole story of me randomly tweeting and then community taking off, pinging Taylor and then Taylor had to make a change. I had a lot of thoughts about this whole story. Should I have tweeted? Maybe I should have gone to GitHub to report that, but maybe that way it wouldn't have as much impact and wouldn't kind of force Taylor to react. Not sure. So I'm still thinking my own behavior here. I'm still getting better at phrasing things correctly online in more positive way to not force such reactions and scandal and drama, so to speak. So in this case, I guess I failed at that and I will get better. But in general, in Laravel, do you agree with such decision that controller should return basically anything because that's how it has been historically? What do you think about that? Share in the comments below. And see you guys in other videos.